Singer Davido's official photographer, Fortune, is dead. He reportedly drowned at a location in Lagos on Tuesday evening, September 21, 2021. May gentle soul rest in perfect peace. According to his close friend, he wrote, Davido's photographer, Fortune, is dead. Jesus Christ, like I am heartbroken. He is my friend. I'm so shocked right now. He shouldn't have been Fortune. God, he's so hardworking, very ambitious. He worked so hard to gain the spot he achieved like this today. This one again, now another great loss for the DMW crew and to our singer Davido again because definitely his name must definitely they attached to him because according to rumor, Fortune now is official photographer. All the beautiful pictures when be say Davido they take like now this guy now he's there behind the camera. According to waiting the talk, he was a hard working guy and he's just. 24 years old. He was born July 10th, 1997. He just celebrated his birthday a few months ago. Like, eh, I so much day pity for his family. Imagine the kind of hard work when don't let this guy come be for David the photographer and today bad news like this don't come go meet in family. Then in an interview when he was still alive, when they asked him how he came in contact with DMW, his response was, it was through my friend Yola who used to manage DJ Olu. I knew him when I did a back-to-back -back free jobs. I told him I wanted to give something to Davido and he said I had to go through DMW president who happens to be Banco. Yola did all the links up and pushing and he arranged for me to see Davido somewhere at Ikoyi. Luck luckily for me, I saw Davido and I gave him the respect by lying down to greet him. Banco left with David so I took that opportunity to know the people around him and also exchange numbers with a lot of big guys there and later he came to collect the design from me and I put it behind his phone and he said he will show it to David. I took that opportunity to collect Banco's number and I saved mine on his phone, started texting and sending pictures even though it usually look took a while for him to reply or even pick my calls. But I was not worried. I continued trying to create the relationship. Time went on and I told Banku I would like to work with them. And he said that that was, a, that was not a problem, that he would work things out and ask if I could work with Mayokun or Dremo. And I said, no problem. I met Asa, who happens to be Davido's manager, at an event, and I took a picture of him and Davido. The picture was saying something that that was me being creative as usual, so I edited the picture. I sent it to Asa. He said, thank you, uploaded it in his page, and still gave me credit. Banco promised that he was going to call me for Giddy's Feast, but he traveled. I called and test him, but he didn't answer. Then I later heard he all traveled to South Africa. When he got back, we linked up and he still gave the same promise, saying he would be linking me and giving me updates, which he did this time. He gave me different updates DMW had. He asked me to go to a video shoot that they had a studio in Maryland. But before I got there, due to lack of funds and a mistake in the address, I got there late. They were already running off and I just went out to still shoot and I left. After the shoot, Davido saw me and called me by my name, Fortune. I was so surprised and happy inside me. I felt that if Davido could know my face and my name, then I was making progress. It was late and I couldn't go home. I went to the Eastland with them and left the next day. After a long time of working and not getting anything, they planned their 30 billion gang concert. I attended, took several pictures, and I was one that took the viral picture of Whiskey and Davido hugging after the show. David followed and sent me a message on Instagram asking me to send him all the pictures on WhatsApp, and from there, things started building up, and I was talk talking to Asa since, and he had assured me I was going to work with them. 
Shoma's birthday came up. I went to the birthday party. I took pictures that went viral and people started recognizing me more. After that, Banco added me to DMW group chat and that was where everyone in DMW is. Like uh, this fortune life story read they very touching. How it take come in contact with Davido face to face, the life struggle and all. And he's just a young guy, like 24 years old, and today with a year say he don't just still die. Like uh, I don't just know what we need to talk about this DMW crew. Like may God just begin to they protect them. This guy now official Davido photographer. Like now they give all the beautiful pictures one now they see. And when I even year from that interview when he grant some time ago because they come they ask him how he say just get meet the video like how come when you now the story now I read for now so like i don't just understand why this kind of thing they happen to people like this after all the old life struggle and all now when be say it don't they recognize for the world now he label and they see follow all the video pictures like fortune now he they read this the video they take car and go everywhere according to him even at choma's birthday he was present there like he give the best shoot and that's why davido officially take him as his own personal photographer according to what they say it happened like he was drawn at a location today in lagos i don't just understand which kind how come that kind of thing will take happen but god knows best i may we still put our davido for prayer i may we put the dmw crew for prayer because now the name go don't see they go viral again like davido's photographer is dead even this not be only davido he they snap pictures but as far as say davido officially take him as his own personal photographer so he must be addressed as davido those photographers so guys this one another loss again to the dmw to davido and to everyone when we say they close to this guy may his gentle soul rest in perfect peace so my people make on a leave on a condolence message for davido again this one another big loss not quite long when we say don't first loss uh, uh, Obama DMW and people they look they talk say they don't know what thing they happen for that crew what thing they read they happen but we just feel say now what thing one happen now it they happen it's death you cannot question God when he come he come on his own so my people thank you so much this is Violet Bass TV to all my returnees thank you so much for always tuning in to support and if you are just coming across my video for the first time kindly hit on the subscribe button and please remember to put up the post notification bell so that anytime i bring up any latest update you will get notified and be the first to watch thank you so much guys i beg make una leave una condolence message for the family for the for dmw for the video as i talked earlier before like this guy is just too young to go According to Fortune, in talk say he was born in Bariga, July 10, 1997, from a very poor family. I am the third from a seven children. We spent 10 years in Bariga before we moved to Ikotun. I happened to be a very creative child. I started secondary school then, left Lagos for Oweri when I got admission into the university, but I couldn't cope, so I left school after my Andre level because of finance and some other personal issues. So my father was wasn't really ha happy about it i just had to take that decision i joined to print media and worked in the graphic department where i learned graphic design i also i was an intern for a year and i kept working with them that one i life history so my people many things they want to go talk for this video make we just live and make it come to an end thank you guys i will see you on my next video bye for now bye